How's it going? Fox back again for sound design tutorials. Uh, I'm going to show you another patch from my forthcoming sound bank for Serum called Aggression. This one is another dubstep growl. I'm getting a lot better at these now. Um, I've been watching a few tutorials myself trying to get some tips and tricks and what they should be sounding like. These more metallic -y ones I like. So, anyway, this is the sound I'll be showing you. <laughs> There you go. A lot better than some of the other ones I've got. Um, I'm not going to be giving this patch away for free as it is going to be involved, uh, included in the, in my uh, Serum Sound Bank. But yeah, I'm going to show you how I made it. It's not as difficult as some of the ones I've made before. Uh, no warp modes at all on it, surprisingly. Um, I usually use some bend negative or something like that to give it a little bit of grip, but... <laughs> Most of the power of this patch comes from the effects and uh, this sort of phasing filter that we got. So I'm going to go ahead and initialize this. So oscillator 1 was one of the spectral ones and it was odd pass. I pitched it down one octave. Uh, I'm going to modulate the volume later on with an LFO but for now we'll just set up uh, the sound in itself. It uses four voices of unison. D tune about 0.04. Also, like B is one of the vowel ones, and it was retro speaking. This one's down two octaves. A wavetable position I had on about 37. This was giving us that growly, sort of throaty part of the sound before we even get started. Um, no unison for this. Again, the level is going to be modulated by an LFO later on. I use a sub oscillator just to beef the low end up one octave down. Click it to direct out so it's going to bypass the filters and the effect section. Just go straight out on a nice clean sub. So that's a good basis for any sound that is. Um, I didn't use any envelopes at all. Everything is done via one LFO. Apart from uh, a bit of modulation on the pan in which I use a different LFO. So we'll set the filter up now actually. So it's a phase plus 24 which is in the flanges section. So a phase 24 plus. A and B both go for it. We're going to drive it. Helps us give it a nice bit of grip. You got to watch a master envelope whenever you apply any drive or uh, boost to these filters because it really increases the gain drastically. You can see it starts to give us some sort of talky sound. Very subtle at the minute. Uh, increase the resonance a tiny little bit. So the starting point for this cutoff is going to be about 43 hertz. I'll set up the LFO on the pan first because that's the only one that it is for. So it's a basic LFO. Um, I'll set it to a half a bar. BPM it, anchor it and set it to re-trigger. Every time you press a new note, the LFO is going to re-trigger. Uh, we're going to use this to modulate the pan on a filter. quite subtle when we do some modulation with the wavetables and everything else. You don't want to swing in too far because it will really take over the sound. So yeah, everything else to say is done by one LFO. Um, it's a sort of weird shape that I created. It's quite easy to do. Make sure everything's on grid. So you, the first two line, we're going to set this to half a bar. I want to create a sort of booby shape to start with. So try and get it as close to the grid as you can these. Sort of sawtooth ending term. Try and get them as, as close to each other as you can. And we're going to use this to modulate quite a few things. The main thing is the cut off for the filter. So 
So again, BPM anchor it, although we want to set this one to envelope. What it means when it's in envelope mode is it does its cycle, whatever you can see on the screen, it does that over the time that you specify it, and then it stops at the bottom point. So in this instance, it's going to flip the filter open to the put to the frequency that we've set, which is 40, and then it's going to come back to doesn't tell you what frequency is it's around about 1300 Hertz and then it's going to come back to the original point of about 40 so um, how we get that real sort of stuttery sound is by applying this now to the volume of, of all three uh, oscillators so starting point I never never take it right down to zero it can cause some sort of clicking and artifacts sometimes I normally reduce it to around about 11% and then apply this LFO to all three volumes for all three oscillators and again the the destination amounts pretty similar on all of them I don't want it 100% around about 70 seems to work pretty good for me now this is just transform the sound totally <laughs> Still quite static at the minute, um, we're going to use this to modulate the wavetables now of both A and B. This is going to drastically change the sound again. So destination amount of about 15 for A, positive for both and around about same for B. <laughs> Still quite static, you're thinking, a little bit of movement, doesn't fill out the spectrum like that other one did. That is all down to the effects and the power that we have when we're modulating things inside the effects section also. So the first thing I'm going to do is introduce the hyper dimension. We're going to use both the hyper and the dimension. All I did was turn it on. Increase the mix of the dimension actually. About 30%. Next in the chain, we want to use a phaser. Uh, in this order, make sure you have everything. We want the rate on zero, the depth on zero. Um, when you set the rate and the depth to zero, you, and you modulate this frequency, you can create some real cool effects. Uh, the feedback, the phase, how they come as standard, the mix we want at around about 64%. We're going to modulate this frequency negative starting point of around 74 hertz again with this LFO not much about minus 8 starting to add a bit of that metallic -y feel the main thing that helps all this sound come together um, I've started to use this a lot more than I used to is a compressor in multiband mode <laughs> So we'll set the compressor frequency threshold about minus 12, ratio on maximum, attack instant, and release just a tiny release of 1.8. Um, that's it on the in the basic compressor mode. When we change it to multiband, just enhances everything. It's compressing everything. It's compressing it, all of the extra voices that we've got in the hyper dimension, all of the unison that we've got in the oscillators, and also this modulated phaser frequency. It just en enhances all of it. So now we're going to bring in some reverb after the compressor. Uh, you don't want the reverb before the compressor when we're making this sound because it just tends to wash over everything. We change it to plate mode. Uh, the size I'm going to bring down. Pre delay. Why is that showing different? Oh. Oh. I've got no pre delay on this. It must be a how very strange. Reverb. Plate. Oh. Uh, strange, the one I'm copying it from has got a pre-delay, this one hasn't in plate mode. Very weird. Oh well, we'll still try and do it. Oh, I cut. Oh, I 
couldn't stand why that's not changing. <laughs> Uh, we're going to modulate the mix on this reverb with the LFO as well. Next thing and last thing we're going to have, add is the EQ. Uh, I'm going to use a peak on the first part of the filter. We're not going to touch the second part of the filter. I'm going to use a peak. I'm going to boost it around to about 8 dB. Pull the Q back. Starting point for a frequency. It's pretty much where it sets the standard about 266. Use this LFO again to wobble this negative of uh, around about 15. <laughs> Reverb's not adding that much, I might do away with it altogether. Watch for clipping again. There you go, very very good this is. Um, I've done around about 10 patches like this, these sort of metallic -y, really throaty ones. Um, Stay tuned to my Facebook page if you're not already like my Facebook page. I'm going to be running a competition in the very near future. I'm going to give you a small selection of sounds from this sound bank, maybe 10 bass patches. Um, I'm going to ask you to create an eight, uh, 16 bar loop. The winner will get a copy. I might do five winners. The five winners will all get a copy of my Serum sound bank when it comes out. It can be any genre you want to make, dubstep, electro, whatever you think you can use the patches for. So the f top five will get a copy of this when it comes out. And the winner, I will let the uh, little 16 bar loop they do be in the demo. So whoever buys it will be able to hear the demo that you made. <laughs> Stay tuned, I'll be setting that up next week. But yeah, as always, subscribe if you like this or any of my other tutorials. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>